We'll get started with Michael Grady from Yes Network. Hey, Kevin, what, what is it about the culture that you guys have there that when guys are out of the lineup, other players, instead of being shy in the moment, step up? Um, what is it about your culture and environment that allows for guys to feel empowered to have strong performances? Uh, just to have that support from our coaching staff um, allows a lot of guys to go out there and play free. Um, you see guys developing throughout the season um, because they're being put in different situations. Landry, Joe, Tyler, um, Alizé came in, gave us great minutes. So I think guys who, you know, younger guys in the league who still trying to uh, find their footing, you know, this this year was good for them because, you know, it allowed them to develop different parts of their game, play with different lineups, you know, play more minutes. So I think um, that next man mentality uh, is preached to us from day one and, and guys are taking advantage of it. You had your, your second 40-point game in a net uniform at 22 in the third. At this point in your career, Kevin, what do you love most about competitions? Uh, I love the mental aspect of, um, uh, you know, just how I'm approach the game. You know, every night is different, I feel. Like, they threw a little boxing one out there. They double-teamed me as soon as I touched it in the post. They play zone. So just coming into a game not knowing what a coach is going to throw at me and, um, you know, and as the game starts to, to go on, me figuring it out, I think that's the funnest part for me. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Kevin, sort of in that same mentality of gamesmanship, if you will, when you're looking at this point in potentially playing in a back-to-back -back tomorrow or not, is there something that you, I don't know, take pride in and constantly kind of trying to be available for your teammates or what? what's your mentality there along with obviously taking direction from the coaching staff? Um, first, I'm going to take direction from the coaching staff. Um, my teammates understand uh, – um, what the situation is. Um, so I just got to be ready for any situation I feel like. And, you know, so I, and, and when I'm out there playing, I try to take it a possession at a time and um, see what happens. And, you know, I had to come back in the fourth. Um, and maybe I could negotiate a little bit better if I didn't have to come back in the fourth next game. So, but it is what it is, you know, I try to take it a possession at a time. And, and, and like I said, just, you know, trust in with the coaching staff and the training staff want me to do. Thank you. Maybe you can use that bargaining chip for next time. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin, you mentioned Alizé briefly before, but I mean, for a young guy like him to come off the bench with 2020, um, I mean, A, what was your impression of his performance tonight and what have been, been your impressions overall from him? I, I love everything about Alizé, who he is as a person, his approach to the game, uh, his work ethic, his story, his journey, everything about him is just... Uh, you know, I want to see him do well out there. And I could tell, you know, coming back to Indiana, a place that drafted him, he wanted to come out here and play well. And being away from the team for a few days, you could tell that was uh, on his mind a bit. But it was it was a good way to welcome him back to the group. 2020 off the bench was just everywhere. Offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, pushing the pace. You know, I, I'm, I'm very excited for Alizé. Glad he's a part of our team and want him to continue to keep building on this. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, what's going on, Kevin? Congrats on the win. Um, we, we had spoken earlier about the idea of gravity, and you said that you didn't really feel like you had that impact on the game unless you were playing with force. Um, would, would tonight be an example of you playing with that force, and how did you feel your ability to open up, create opportunities for everybody else on the floor tonight? Yeah, like I said, each game is different, and, um, you know, I want to I wanna create that somewhat of a double team if I'm driving or if I'm in a post. And some coaches just, you know, don't even let me get started and double team as soon as I catch the ball to start the game. So I think one of those, tonight was one of those nights and um, to generate two people on me and get my guys open. That's that's the goal. And um, you know, but when I have scoring opportunities, I try to take advantage as well. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. Hey Kevin, you, you talked about having to come back in the fourth quarter when Indiana won that little run. Was that just you know them getting hot or, or you guys maybe having a lapse defensively? Just what do you kind of attribute to them getting back in the game in that in that stretch there? Uh, we probably relaxed just a tad bit. You know, being up 20, having a good third quarter that we did is is natural to relax. But as a, a great team, we had to be dominant. And I think this was a good lesson for us um, to, to keep our foot on the gas. Um, but, you know, in our fourth quarter, I think we did a good job of not panicking when they got cut it to six or seven. And we made the right plays, um, you know, throughout the fourth. But we definitely want to finish, you know, Finish games better, especially start, start four quarters better if we have 20 points. 
Last question, Chris Mulholland with Nets Daily. Hey, Kevin, out of this whole win, what kind of just stands out to you the most? Like, what pops out to you? Um, Six guys in double figures, 35 assists, only 13 turnovers, um, and they shot 42% from the field. Um, you know, that's that's pretty much the game for us. I'll rebound them too. So when we do that, we're in good shape. Six guys in double figures, more assists, more rebounds, hold them to a low percentage. You know, that's a good formula for us. Thanks so much, Kevin. We appreciate it. Yep. Kevin.